Hello everyone and thank you so much today for blessing my channel with 420,069 subscribers. And I thought we need to celebrate this momentous occasion. So I thought, why not fulfill Elon Musk's dream of putting a literal Dogecoin on the literal moon? But Elon did not reply to my tweet asking if he'd want to be part of this proposition. So screw you Elon Musk, we're not building a SpaceX ship, we're gonna build one of Tories. We're gonna build a Delta for Heavy. Although, uh, as you can see, I would say this is more of a doge for heavy, personally. Uh, we're going to be putting a... Uh, I don't know what this is. <laughs> we're going to be putting a literal doge coin on the literal moon in Kerbal Space Program. And I thought I'd follow the design of the uh, doge coin sponsored NASCARs and just plaster the doge all over the rocket and create this uh, pure aesthetic. Uh, I think this is probably the best rocket that anyone has ever built ever in Kerbal Space Program. Do not at me because you cannot change my mind. Because you cannot change an objective fact. Uh, and as we are blasting through the upper atmosphere, we can start getting ready to detach the side boosters. I know this rocket is a bit stumpy compared to the actual Delta IV Heavy, but you know, I've shielded myself from any criticism about this replica because A, it's, it's dumb, and B, this is not a Delta IV Heavy. This is a Doge 4 Heavy, although much like the Delta 4 Heavy, those side boosters, wh while they were attached, they've gone now. But regardless, they weren't contributing to the fuel level in the core stage. There's no crossfeed or fuel lines or anything. So in order to kind of have the staging stage, like it is in this video where the two side boosters run out of fuel first, the thrust limiter of that central skipper engine is only about 65% which I now realize is 4% off a more epic value for this particular video. And of course I mean 61%, uh, which is why it has sustained itself for far longer than the side boosters. And we've got enough Delta V in this stage to perform most of our burn up to the Mun. And in fact, our uh, upper stage doesn't have the Delta V to perform uh, the mission without such an assist from the core stage, which of course leaves the burning question, Matt. That means that the core stage is going to get left stuck in space. Forever, it's not going to be deorbited, which you always said you try and always avoid doing. And I concede and accept your point, dear viewer. But on the other side, who would not want this this beautiful booster uh, as a permanent fixture of our Kerbin orbit? I was about to say low Kerbin orbit, but I guess uh, it's kind of a an, an eccentric Kerbin orbit. But it would be nice to just have this as a sort of artificial satellite of Kerbin. So we've got Minmus, we've got the Mun. And we've got the Doge. So uh, you might notice that one of the uh, Doge stickers didn't detach with the fairing for some reason. I think that was just a bit of a glitch. So separating the lower stage from the upper stage was a little bit glitchy because the flag was clipping into the upper stage. But it's okay. Uh, the detachment was fine. And now that's detached, it's only going to take a minimal amount of contribution from the upper poodle engine to get our encounter with the mum. Which you can see we have now obtained pretty much. It was a little bit glitchy. And it was at this point I realized that the game had sort of done that thing where it says you've got a mun encounter, but actually it's in uh, one orbit's time. It's not going to happen like there, you see. Um, I, I probably should have realized that based on my re my position relative to the mun's position when making that maneuver node. But I was just, I guess I'm just excited, guys. And I know this video is dumb and it's a meme and it's a bit <laughs> tongue in cheek. But I am like seriously very grateful. I don't really do like subscriber specials, especially for like something like... I guess, I guess like 100,000, 500,000 and the million are like the big, the big ones you would do a subscriber special for. But, you know, I, 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 for a very long time, for years in fact, I've said on many occasions that I regret not doing a 69,000 subscriber special. So I'm making up for it now. I vowed that when the time came, this was like be a few years down the line. When the time came, I would do a 420 69 subscriber special. And here you can see me performing my best Mun landing I've ever done. Uh, I definitely didn't start the burn too late and nearly smash into the surface at an incredibly high velocity. I did have to do a, a radial outburn just to slow down our 
vertical descent very, very rapidly. But you don't have to worry, guys. I just wanted to do a quick inspection of the crater edge. It was all planned. Do not worry. And uh, now we've uh, passed that crater, we can select a slightly more appropriate landing spot, which is this reasonably flat area of land here. And in case any of you are curious as to why my engine plumes look so beautiful, it's because I'm using the mod Waterfall, which I've had installed for a few videos now. Uh, whoops, <laughs> my fingers slipped on the throttle and uh, accidentally jumped up in the air briefly. But yeah, I'm using the Waterfall mod. That's why my engine plumes look really, really nice. And there we are. We have landed the literal Dogecoin delivery ship on the literal mum. Elon, step up your game. I mean, what are you playing at? I've already built a SpaceX style mun ship, landed that on the mun. I've built a full orbital like starship. I've done a Falcon 9 where I recovered the second stage. Like, really? You're a joke, quite frankly. SpaceX, more like lame X. Uh, because loud aerospace, we, we, although, okay, admittedly, these rockets don't exist in real life, Kerbal Space Program, as we know, is a completely realistic physics simulator. Anyway, I joke, of course. Now it's time for the big moment, guys. We're going to place the literal Dogecoin on the surface of the moon. Everyone, please stand as a sign of respect. Oh, well, that could have gone better to be honest. I'm not sure why it exploded. But don't worry, guys. This is why you always bring top tip. If you're ever going to do this, always bring two Dogecoins to the moon. Um, in case you place one and it explodes when it touches the lunar surface. So here we go. Take two. We're going to place it. I did put it the wrong way up, so the text will be mirrored. But look, it worked the second time we tried. And there it is. The Mun has been blessed with a literal dogecoin. Wow. Such, such an achievement. Wow, even Bill Kerman there is in awe of what he has done. I mean, I, I don't know, I just, I've got no words. And in fact, I did start this tangent earlier, but you guys know me, I'm, I'm one for getting sidetracked. But no, I do want to say that although this video has been very tongue in cheek and a bit, not serious at all. I do want to say like a huge genuine thank you for to everyone for subscribing. I never thought I would get anywhere uh, on YouTube gen generally. <laughs> like I've definitely got 420,068 subscribers more than I ever thought I would get. So thank you. I, I, I'm being sincere now. Uh, thank you all so much for subscribing. And hey, when we'll, we'll do the when we get to 4.2. Uh, and 69 million subscribers. Uh, we'll do. We'll do another one. We'll put a. We'll put a literal Dogecoin on the literal jewel. There you go. There's a gauntlet. That, that's going to be very tough. So make sure you tell. I mean, how many people are watching this video? Um, there's 420,000 of you and 69. So if you all tell, uh, quick maths. Uh, just tell 69 of your friends to subscribe, and then we'll then we'll get there. You know, uh, Everyday Astronaut has just hit a million subscribers, and I, I I think we can beat him. We can beat him to 4.2 million and 69. So there you go. There's the there's the gauntlet. You guys know what you got to do, and uh, th that's it. I I don't really know. I've got nothing to talk about. Uh, it's the Doge. <laughs> We're flying a, I'm flying a Doge rocket to the moon, and now I'm going back. And like, I feel like I've exhausted the. This meme died in like 2013, didn't it? I feel like the Doge is a, it's a, it's a, I'm having a bit of a existential crisis right now. Just looking at my screen whilst trying to come up with some spontaneous, if it wasn't obvious, this is not a scripted video. I'm just watching the screen like, what can I talk about now? Oh, what can I talk about now? I got a bit uh, trigger happy with the time warp and now we're entering the atmosphere. It's completely the wrong angle and nearly overheated, but it was okay. Uh, ironically, I feel like uh, the capture was in more danger than the lower stage, but it's fine. We did it, and uh, the parachutes will deploy, and we'll be splashing down in the ocean, much like Apollo, although I think you can all agree, much more epic than Apollo, uh, because Apollo did not put a Dogecoin on the moon. So that's, um, that's, that, that does, that's the only significant difference between this mission and the real-life Saturn V Apollo 11 mission. And there is our splash down there. Wow, such a splashdown. But we need to check on the most important thing, and that is Kerbin's newest artificial satellite. There it is, Dogecoin to space. 
epic. And I'll say what else is epic. The names scrolling on screen. It's my Patreons. Thank you all to you, to all of you for like donating to Patreon, but also to all of you, like the people watching this video. I feel like I should have been more specific than just using the word you twice. But yes, a sincere thank you to everyone that watched this video, to, who subscribed, who donated to Patreon. You guys made this channel what it is.